very good. So before anything else, I would like you to stand. We will have a short prayer to be led by Miss Lakbayo. Students are expected to define research, 
define the different research terminologies. So do you have any idea? Do you know what research is? Anyone from the class? Yes, Miss Abilior. Yes, very good. It is to gather information. It is to to prove something that is assumed. Okay. What do you think researches are for? As I have said well ago, it is to prove something that is assumed or to prove something that is talked about to be true. So, before we uh, drive to our uh, main topic, so we will have first our activities. So I would like you to get, get a half sheet of paper and answer the following. Right, I know it when the term is one of the research terminologies and I doubt it if it's not. Point will serve as your attendance for today. You will only have two minutes to answer. So, these are the terms. Abstract, variable, data, assumption, validity, population, hypothesis, accounting, solve, and unity. You will write, I know it, when it is part of the term in research, and I doubt it if it is not. Are you done? Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Force will answer me. Raise your hand if you are done. They're still answering, so we will wait for a couple of minutes. So I guess everyone is done. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So let's check your answer. You will check your own work to see if it's uh, if if you know already the term. So these are the answers. For number one to number seven, it is I know it. So meaning those terms are part of the basic research terminologies. And eight to nine, it is I doubt it. They are not part of the research terms or research basic terminologies. So who got the perfect score? Raise your hand. Raise your hands if you have perfect score. Okay, only two got the perfect score. So who got nine? Okay, majority has the score of nine. Who got eight? Okay, so meaning you have the prior understanding or knowledge about research and its basic terminologies. So let's uh, have a look or take a look with this terms. So these, these are the basic uh, research terminologies. The abstract, population, limitation, variable, data, sample, operational definition, study setting, hypothesis, validity, concept, assumption, and construct. So these are the basic terminologies. So now let us, uh, let's, let us know what is research. May I have your attention, Miss Aliawan?
research is a process of systematic inquiry that entails collection of data, documentation of critical information, and analysis and interpretation of that data or information in accordance with suitable methodologies set by specific professional fields and academic discipline. Okay, thank you so much. Please be seated. So as, a, as it is said, this entails collection of data. So meaning, when we say research, that is to collect data or information with accordance with suitable, suitable methodologies set by specific professionals. Now, next. Research is Ms. Lakbayo. Research is a, is a carefully and detailed study into a specific problem, concern, or issue using scientific method. It's a method that people use to gain knowledge about a topic, to develop new knowledge, and to create new business and applications. Yes, thank you so much. It's a careful and detailed study, mm -hmm. so meaning that needs a thorough is ex scrutinizing of data study in a specific problem, concern, or issues using specific method. It's a method that people use to gain new knowledge. So, in order to gain new knowledge, researchers will find something, uh, will prove something, okay, to develop new knowledge and create new business and application. After it is being proved, there will be a new business and new applications with regards to the research they have conducted. So, basic research terminologies. First is the abstract. Ms. Labartini. Abstract is a short summary of your completed research. It is intended to describe your work without doing too great detail. It should be self-contained and consist explaining your work as briefly and clear as possible. It should have in your body and conclusion. Okay, so abstract and a short summary of your completed research intended to describe your work without going great detail. It should be it should be self-contained and concise, explaining your work as briefly as clear as possible. So when we say abstract, that does need that does not need further explanation. It only needs a short information with regards to your work or to your research. It should contain all the information needed about your research. It should have enter body and conclusion, meaning um, everything that talks about your research should be clearly explained in your abstract. So these are the examples. So for example, the impact of the Academic Center for Excellence on the retention and success of students enrolled at the College of Nursing, a pilot study. So as you can see, this is the abstract of that title, research. So this is the abstract. As you can observe, it, it is not very long. It is only a short information with regards to the research title or the topic. So another example is this one. Creative teaching rope tricks, uh, juggling and hacking stuff enhance learner and the rest. So again, as you can observe, this is a very short information with regards to that topic. So that is meant by abstract. Another example. This is shorter. Then that too. Okay. Not uh, another multicultural education workshops. Only through creative teaching can we be multi multicultural. So this is the abstract of that topic. It is very short, but it cons uh, it includes all the inform uh, important information about the topic. Okay. The next term is sample. So can you read Mr. Abrelier? Sample is a group of people and team or items that are taken from larger population or measurement. It should be representative of the population to ensure that we can generalize the findings from the research, research sample to the population as 
sample. Yes. So when we say sample, for example, you are the population. So the sample of your population is the four. So that is meant by sample. Group of people altered at present are taken from a larger population. It should be representative of the population. So for example, they are your representative. You are all the population. But you are they are your representative. So meaning they are just your sample. So they they will be the ones to be uh, uh, get the ones who will give the data to the researchers. So for example, this one. This is the population and this is only the sample. So as you can see, what you have observed, they are just chosen from the population. So that is meant by sample. Now let us uh, proceed to population. Miss Patigas, please read. Population. It's a time to publish a statistical sample is known. In a statistic, population can refer to people, objects, events, hospital, visit, measurements, etc. Okay, it's the entire pool. Meaning, they are the sample, you are the population, as I said well ago. So this is the example. I mean, another terms, or another explanation. It is the entire group that you want to draw conclusions about. In research, a, a population doesn't always refer to people. A population doesn't always need to be people. For example, you got a population of frogs. You, have, you need to have a population of dogs to get some data or information for the topic. So this is the example. This is your population. This is your sample. So when we say population, they are the larger pool. So as you can observe, this one is larger than this. So I hope you got this class because we will jump. We will just jump up with the lesson because uh, we will tackle or we will dig deeper about it as we continue with our discussion. So when we say data, Mr. Borromeo. Data is any information that is being collected, observed, generated, or created to validate original research findings. Although digital research data also includes non digital formats such as laboratory notebooks and diaries. So, data is any information that has been collected. So, any information that you have collected from the population or from the people. It is called data. Although digital result includes the digital format such as the virtual books and diaries. Next. Examples of data are documents, spreadsheets, laboratory notebooks, field notebooks, diaries, questionnaires, transcripts, and code books. So back when we were in high school, I mean senior high school, we uh, conducted a research in that specific school, and we only use questionnaires. We use questionnaires to gather information from the uh, chosen students or from our sample. So if you are not really sure about the data that you have collected, you can use any of this, any of these uh, examples in order for you to collect your data or information. So variable. I would like to ask Ms. Lubertini to read. Variable. Refers to a person, place, thing, or phenomenon that we are trying to measure in some way. Variables represent the measurable traits that can change over the course of scientific experiment. Okay. Refers to a person, place, or thing, phenomenon that you are trying to measure in some way. Variable represents the measurable traits that can change uh, over the course of scientific experiment. So that is variable. Next is the concept. Concepts are defined as abstract, abstract ideas. They are understood to be the fundamental building block of the concept behind principles, thoughts, and beliefs. 
the abstract ideas or phenomena that are being mm -hmm. studied. So, what is the concept of your research? So, the concept of my research, ma'am, is about love. Ma'am, the concept of my research is about hatred. Ma'am, the concept of my research is about how people interact with each other. So, that is defined as abstract, the ideas or the building block uh, behind every principle of thoughts and beliefs. So, next will is the... Okay, so examples of concept include common demographic measures, income, age, educational level, and number of siblings. This could be your concept also. So, next, operational definition. I would like you to read this a bit more. Operational definition is a statement of procedures the researcher is going to use in order to measure a specific variable. We need operational definition in psychology so that, so that we, know, we know exactly what researchers are talking about when they refer to something. Okay, so we also need operational definition. It is said to be the statement of procedures the researcher is going to use in order to measure a specific variable. So this is used to measure the specific variable. Okay, next, validity. Validity defined as the extent to which a concept is accurate measured, accurately measured in a quantitative study. How accurately a method measures what is intended to measure. Example, a survey is designed to explore the creation but which actually, actually measures anxiety would not be considered valid. So your research should be valid and it needs validity. That should be true. That should be uh, uh, reliable or something that concise or precise to what is your topic all about. So next is the assumption. Please read me, Lakbayo. Assumptions. Assumptions are those things we take for granted, granted in the study. Statements by the researcher, researcher that certain elements of the research are understood to be true. It's a realistic ex expectation which is something that we believe is to be true. Okay. Assumption is a realistic expectation which is something that we believe to be true. Who among you here assumes so much from your crush? Mm. Mm. So sometimes we, ass we assume so much, right? But that does not mean, or that does not mean that what we assume is not true. So we need to research about it. So that could jive to our topic. Those things that we take for granted in studies stated by researchers, certain elements of research are understood to be true. It's, it's is a realistic expectation which, which is something that we believe to be true. So, we believe to be true meaning we we know in ourselves that this could be possible or this could be something true. Next, hypothesis. Please read Miss Aliawan. Hypothesis. Variables. So this should be 
uh, remembered by you because these were surely needed for your uh, research as we go on. Okay, next, limitations. Limitations represent weaknesses within a research design that may influence outcome and conclusions of the research. It explains how they impact your findings because creating their short list or description isn't enough. So, limitations. It only represents weaknesses within a research design that may influence outcome and conclusions of the research. So, that is meant by limitations. Are we clear, class? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand something? Yes, Am I fast or just enough? Just raise your hand if you have any concern about the topic because this is a very serious topic which we need to um, take take a take take it seriously. Okay, next. Study setting. Please read me Spatigdas. Study setting is a physical, social, or experimental context within which research is conducted. Description of the environment, including location and experimental setting. For example, what is study setting? Okay, as it is said, study setting is a physical, social, or experimental context within which research is conducted. Okay, for example, the the study setting of your research is the Limau National High School. So that is where your research has been or being conducted. It is the description of the environment, including the location and experimental setup. So meaning it is the place where you are going to uh, have your research. Then the last one is the construct. A construct is the abstract idea, underlying theme or subject matter that one wishes to measure using survey questions, or broad concepts or topics for study. So these are, oh, this is the, this is meant by construct, this abstract idea, underlying theme or subject matter that wishes to measure and survey questions. So, any question, class? Do you understand something? So, let me ask what are those uh, research terminologies? One. Give me one. Abstract. Next. Sample. Next. Population. Validity. Assumption. Operational definition. Operational definition. Limitations. Hypothesis. Data. Yes. Those are the basic research terminologies. So I guess all of you have understood the definitions of it. Uh, please be reminded, class, that we are going to tackle each of the basic terminologies on our next lesson. This is just a short uh, definitions of its basic terminologies. So, quiz time. Okay. So you the the uh, the direction define the following in your own words with not more than twenty words. So meaning you are just going to define each of these terms with not more than twenty words. So meaning that should be twenty or nineteen less. Okay. So I will give you five minutes. So this piece will serve. Uh, will be recorded and it has two point each. So I will give you five. Uh, no, I mean I will give you ten minutes.
lagi dan So time is up Please pass your paper Is it hard class? Is it difficult? It's not difficult because you understand the lesson. So, before we end our lesson, I would like you to take note of this one. So, in your assignment, as your assignment, direction, in not less than 200 words, write the importance of doing research in your daily existence. So, meaning, you will write what are the importance the importance of research in my daily existence. So, you will find out how does research, uh, research influence and affects your um, existence as of today and tomorrow and forever. Okay, are we clear? Yes, no. Are we, uh, do you understand something? Yes. If not, please raise your concerns or you can see me at my office for further explanations which part of the lessons made you made it hard for you to understand so thank you for listening please give five claps for ourselves so i would like to ask miss aliawan to lead the prayer as we uh, end our lesson Goodbye class. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you so much.